super duper excited about this segment because it involves my favourite food group. <laughs> Girls, what are we talking about? Cheese. 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 It's Praise going a little bit. Jean Gerard knows his cheese. <laughs> yes. Bonsoir. So, so Jean Gerard has come on to help us serve out the cheese and we've got a lot of cheese to get through so we better get right into it. When cheese is first made, when you think about cheese, it's kind of like really old milk. But it's not just old milk that's been sitting in the fridge and stinks. Um, although some cheeses can be stinky. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheese. It's old milk that's been cultured under the right conditions. So temperature, um, the right bacteria, the right environment. So when cheese first comes out, it looks similar to this ricotta. Jean Gerard, can oui. I grab a little plate? And I'm going to... Mademoiselle, anything. <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit of ricotta uh, that you girls can try, as well as some of this. What does that look like? More ricotta? More <laughs> similar to ricotta. It's cottage cheese. Oh. So, um, you know, sometimes cheese comes down to, you know, what's in a name. Cottage cheese and ricotta would have been from different parts of the world. So, for example, cottage cheese would have come from, like, England or from <laughs> even Eastern Europe, whereas, or quark, um, whereas ricotta would have come from Italy. Mm. Mm. Ricotta ah. is, um, can be used mm, sweet you. or savoury, and it's a very, very mild, creamy cheese. Now give, give the uh, give the mascarpone a taste. That's still that's the yellow one there. It's still yes, part yes. of the Italian family, but it's lighter and fluffier. It's kind of like an Italian cream cheese. This is the more traditional cream cheese that we might find um, and is used in cheesecake, but you can sub it out for mascarpone mm. as well. What are you tasting, Isha? It's creamy. Creamy. Uh, good Very one. good. good one. Very good. Well, cheese is essentially cultured cream that's been aged in the right conditions. The and French as... cheese is, of course, more cultured. Of, of course. Of course, <laughs> more cultured. It's been to the it's been to the theatre. It has been to the Louvre. It has been to the Louvre. Now, the next cheese we're going to try is part of the mozzarella family. Now, what does that look like? Who knows what that's called? I don't know what Boccaccini. it's called. Boccaccini. Boccaccini. Uh, well done. Course. Boccaccini and mozzarella are part of the same family. But this one here is a buffalo mozzarella or a buffalo milk mozzarella. I want you to dip a new spoon into that one and give it a taste. Uh, one of my favourite things about this one is, check this out, how creamy it is through the middle. Oh, formidable. Formidable, indeed. It's really flavoursome, unctuous, delicious with tomatoes. Now, give the bocconcini a little taste as well. These are the little tomato, cherry tomato bocconcini. Just grab them with your hands. Don't even worry about a spoon. Mm -hmm. how, does that, how does the texture feel to you? What? Really rubbery. Rubbery, really <laughs> chewy. Yeah. Mozzarella is stretched and that gives it that lovely sort of chewy unctuousness and when it melts, that's what gives it its stretch. Now, the next step when cheeses start to get a little bit older is that they become semi-hard. So the outside starts to harden before oh, yes. the inside does. So you've still French got the cheese. softness. <laughs> now, there is some French cheese. So Jean Gerard, this is an, Australi uh, an Australian camembert. This is a French brie. Yeah, of course. What do you think the difference is? between these two aside from the place where they're from um that one's like looks more smooth whereas that one like looks really bumpy, bumpy. And that one must be older wonderful older more refined more <laughs> intelligent is this what you are saying to me <laughs> yes of course <laughs> well uh, very true so the french have been making semi hard cheeses semi soft cheeses for a long time now the reason why they have the name camembert and brie is actually because of the regions that they're from in france right jean gerard yeah, absolutely so there we go i might get you to serve out that of course french... i would hate to see you butcher my cheese any further. <laughs> I'm gonna get you to serve out the French camembert. Now a little bit for each. You can see the outside has the rind. You can eat that rind um, but it tends to have a stronger flavour than the inside. What do you think? It's a lot stronger than all the other ones. It's it is. definitely stronger. We are stronger. not for our strength. <laughs> no, I cannot lie to you. It is definitely stronger because it's had more time for the bacteria to um, create the, the, the different flavours coming through. Jean -Jean. <laughs> what do you reckon? Give me some words. <laughs> I'm busy, I'm in heaven. <laughs> it is unctuating in my palate. It is like a warm summer's day, strolling in Paris, as you would say, as the sun freckles down on your burnt skin. And you look and you'll see love, friendship, happiness in the air. Yes. Well, speaking of happiness, blue cheese makes me happy. If you like a semi-soft or semi-hard cheese, blue is a much stronger flavour, but you can get quite a mild blue. 
Mm. That's Whatever. actually really nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice now, Annika, what do you think? Tastes like blue vein, blue vein pizza. Blue vein <laughs> pizza. Of course. One of my favourite cheeses, or one of my favourite pizzas, is the four cheese pizza, and a blue vein on that makes it really gives it a lovely, interesting mm. savouriness, right? Mm, yes. Of course. Yes. So don't be afraid, Isha. You were a bit worried about that mm. cheese, weren't you? A bit. <laughs> but, but the thing about cheese is you always have to try it because you never know. You might love it. <laughs> now. Speaking of love, mm. I love feta cheeses. They're great in recipes. What sort of stuff are we making with feta cheese? Um, my mum sometimes puts it on pasta. Yeah, <laughs> pasta, salad, definitely, and a Greek cheese. Uh -huh. Now, um, Nick, can you point out the marinated feta for me? That one in the little blue ramekin Indeed at the I end? Can. Lovely. Now, you can marinate your own feta if you want to. That's a great one to pop through a salad because it's already got a lot of flavour through it. Do you want to give that a taste? We've got some more spoons. Mm -hmm. There you are. Spoon it up, give it a taste. Feta originates from Greece, and a lot of the Greek fetters, as they get older, they dry out, and then you can use them uh, for, for stronger recipes. But when you keep them in oil, they stay nice and soft. Now, we'd better get onto those hard cheeses. But of course, we started semi, now we are onto the hard cheese. <laughs> yes, it's, it's actually very hard to get through all these cheeses because there's so much to know. So if you want to know more, <laughs> head to the website. But we're going to go through really quickly. Mm. That's a common cheese that you might find on sandwiches. What do you think it is? Cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar, Cheddar is better. Cheddar originated in England. Guess where it's from? Um. England. Uh, <laughs> Angleterre, as we say. It's from Cheddar, which is a part of the UK. And um, have a taste. Try the Cheddar. It's the most commonly tasted cheese. Um, you can pop it on your Vegemite toast. Alice, please. Have it with some Ouvre avocado. la bouche. Mm. What do you think of Cheddar? Good. Good. <laughs> and Annika, final step, Parmesan. You're a pa pasta fan. Give that a taste. Mm. Tell me what you reckon. It's very, like, sharp. Mmm. Mm. Sharp. The words we're hearing, creamy, sharp, tasty, very gouda. What was your what was your favorite cheese? Choose uh. Probably the blue cheese. Ah, Raymond, uh, you are a very wise lady. <laughs> I and think blue cheese is my favorite. Oh, blue oh, cheese! Oh. It must be true. Sadly, the Swiss has uh, more holes than my accent. <laughs> but continue, <laughs> Alice, not the commercial. Yes. Well, we could talk That's about cheeses Swiss. all day, but That's we've sadly true. run out of time. So go out there, taste some cheese. You never know what you'll find. <laughs> Tell you what, we're going to go to a break. Au revoir, All these will mon be gone. Au revoir, <laughs> <laughs> bouche, au revoir. Come on, come on,